let's, we have some, the same word on the left and the right under rule 3-8, okay? We have a word that's used as a noun or an adjective, and the same word used as a verb. Listen and repeat, then you're going to tell me the pattern. Use. 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 Close. 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 Excuse. 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 Abuse. Abuse. Okay, so what's the pattern that you heard? How are the words spoken differently? In the adjective and words. Okay, so, right, so if it's an adjective or a noun, what sound do you make? Short, 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 short. Right, the short, voiceless, that voiceless, okay? If it, the same word is used as a verb, how are you going to say the S? Right, like clothes. We can say a person is close, okay? Like I am close to the bookstore, okay? Um, but if you're going to use it as a verb, close the door, please. Close the door. Okay? So, let's practice some of these, okay? Because this is a pretty important distinction. And if you say it the wrong way, the person can think you mean something different than what you mean. So let's look down at the list where it says nouns and adjectives and then verbs, okay? So here, now remember, okay? We know that um, if we have... Um, a voiceless consonant, okay? And we have a vowel before a voiceless consonant. Is it going to be longer or shorter? Mm -hmm. If it's before a voiceless consonant, like t, s, p, it's going to be shorter, okay? So with all these words on the left-hand side, okay, these nouns and adjectives, the vowel before the voiceless consonant is going to be shorter, okay? With all the verbs on the right-hand side, they come before a voiced consonant, like z, use, okay? So those, the vowels in those verbs are going to be a little bit longer. Everybody, half a cookie. Half a cookie. Have a cookie. Have a cookie. Have a cookie. Belief in your ability. Believe in your ability. Believe in your ability. Save money. Save money. Save money. Save money. Advice about finances. Advice about finances. Advice about finances. Advice about finances. Relief from pain. Relief from pain. Relief from pain. Relief from pain. Loose change. Loose change. Lose change. Lose change. Use in the kitchen. Use in the kitchen. Use in the kitchen. Close windows. Close windows. Close windows. House guests. House guests. When you use house as a verb, it means to put somebody up, or what's a better way to say that? To let somebody stay at your at your home. Okay, to house someone. The same for house guest. Um, well, that's a little different. That one is, hey, how's it going? How's it that's going? I mean this um, with that one, it would be H O W apostrophe S. How's. But it sounds exactly the same, though. You have a very good ear. Exactly the same sound. Um, number 10, excuse from class. Excuse from class. Excuse from class. Excuse from class. 